Hello and welcome back. In this original Black Excellence presentation, we will highlight the 10 IT jobs that you can secure with no college degree. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we share Black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. The job market is flooded with positions in IT, from cybersecurity to programmers to animation artists. But you may be a little hesitant diving into the tech arena because you haven't attended college or you may not know a ton about computers. Well, you'll be happy to know that the technology field offers a range of positions and high paying jobs that don't require a ton of experience or a four year degree. IT is one of the easiest fields to break into if you are committed to hands-on training, self-education, and starting at the bottom and working your way up. Some of the best engineers and developers in IT haven't taken the traditional education path to earn a degree, but they have a passion for technology and are willing to self-train and climb the learning curve to a successful career. So in this original Black Excellence presentation, we will take a look at some of the high demand and rewarding IT positions that you can realistically achieve without a college degree and what you can possibly make per year if you land one. IT is an exciting arena and every industry, banks, schools, government, hospitals, retail, factories, uses IT in some shape, form or fashion. Therefore, the possibilities of where you could wind up and what you can make are endless. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, cybersecurity specialist, junior level. Cybersecurity specialists monitor networks for any vulnerabilities or potential threats to the organization's data. They build firewalls and manage any attacks on the network infrastructures. As a cybersecurity specialist, you'll develop and implement strategies for data protection. Many cyber professionals don't have degrees since the field is so new and so fast paced that college degrees can't keep up with it. Cybersecurity is a field that by nature doesn't have a regulating body or structure, like let's say the field of medicine where you must have a medical degree. So cybersecurity is an area, like the case with many technical fields, where employers are free to hire whomever they want, including those without a degree. While you don't need a degree to start a career in cybersecurity, relevant certifications are required required. Number two, computer support specialist. Computer support specialists help with troubleshooting problems and providing technical assistance to computer users and customers. These remote specialists who are always called help desk technicians ask a series of questions to gain clarity on a customer issue, then walks them through the fix. They can also work directly with the customer to install and use new hardware and software. The technical assistance may be performed in person, on the phone, or online. Support specialists may work with coworkers, business customers, or with the general public. This position requires that you have experience troubleshooting common issues with computers. Education requirements vary, but certifications in the specific software or products that the company uses is more important for this role. Knowledge of coding languages and operating systems is a plus, as well as online classes, on-the-job training, and years of experience. Number three, data analyst, junior level. As a junior data analyst, your primary responsibility will be assisting the upper level analysts with retrieving, cleaning, and organizing data Junior analysts also perform data entry activities in databases and help with processing data for customers. To begin work as a data analyst without a degree, you will need to seek self-education. For example, data scientists should understand at least one programming language, be able to understand how data differs in each industry, and be willing to take courses in data science. So while you don't need a college degree, you will still need to be educated in the field. Number four, computer programmer. With the advancements in technology today, computer programming skills are becoming more and more in demand. Programmers develop, design, and test software and ensure they function to provide maximum performance, reliability, and security. Computer programmers are responsible for using various computer languages to write new software or update and troubleshoot existing programs. Other duties include debugging code, developing computer infrastructure, and maintaining operating systems. They can work in many industries, including gaming, mobile applications, web development, and making custom designs to meet a client's needs. 
These specialized jobs require in-depth computer and software knowledge, but people without degrees can still find a way into the industry and succeed. To understand the programming field, it's best to first learn its language. This can be done through online or in-person classes, webinars, books, or programming podcasts. Mastering a programming paradigm, along with some experience, strong technical skills, and a commitment to self-learning cutting-edge technology will put you well on a course for a high-paying career. Number five, web developer. There are three types of web developers, front-end, back-end, and full-stack. A front-end developer designs the part of the website that users will see. They work with a graphic designer, a template, or do the design work themselves. Afterward, they code everything to make it functional. A back-end designer makes sure that all the aspects of the site's infrastructure work well together and that the data from the front end is flowing properly. This includes application function and integration, maintaining databases, and troubleshooting the part of the website users don't see. A full-stack developer does both of these. Not all web developers have college degrees, especially those who start their own business developing websites for their own clients. These self-learners are sometimes 100% self-educated and may even enroll in coding boot camps that offer accelerated web development courses. Online courses, hands-on experience, and rolling up your sleeves and building some websites from scratch is all you need. Bottom line, the more skills you have as a developer, the more services you can offer your customers. Number six, IT manager. Although you will need enough technical knowledge to communicate effectively with your staff, your main priorities as an IT manager will likely include planning and directing department needs and upgrades, managing a budget, negotiating with vendors, and communicating with business executives. Depending on the industry or department, you could be overseeing computer systems analysts, software developers, information security analysts, computer support specialists, or all of the above, meaning that IT managers oversee the operations of IT staff and the technology of a business as a whole. Becoming an IT manager requires a bit of experience, that is, at least five years working in the field with proven knowledge of your skill set. While holding an associate's or bachelor's degree will improve your chances, you can have a great career without one as long as you have excellent work ethics, strong communication skills, and proven leadership abilities. Number seven, development operations, DevOps engineer, junior level. While the term itself is a straightforward mashup of development and operations, the definition isn't as transparent. DevOps engineers are responsible for developing, upgrading, and implementing software solutions for internal systems. They monitor the health of servers and work with software developers, IT professionals, and system operators to implement new code, perform installations, and identify opportunities for improvement. In essence, the duties of the DevOps engineer involve taking steps to integrate all aspects of software design, development, hardware architecture, network design, and quality assurance, all into one managed system. DevOps engineers require five or more years of experience in a hands-on position, monitoring servers, optimizing the network, configuring software, studying analytics, generating reports, all while overseeing the operations of organization's infrastructure. Number eight, software architect, junior level. Software architects use their technical and analytical skills to design whole systems based on client requirements. People in this position routinely collaborate with business leaders, engineers, and other developers to ensure that the customized software is clear and intuitive to non-tech users. They oversee the code, create development standards, and keep the project moving along on time among other duties. Software architects are very skilled in programming languages and operating systems. Taking courses and seeking a mentor is a great way to take logical steps toward becoming a software architect. Number nine, digital marketer, social media manager. Using the power of the internet and social media, social media managers work for businesses and brands, representing them on multiple social channels and platforms. Digital marketers run social media accounts, create content, respond to comments, send email marketing campaigns, and facilitate communications that represents or promotes the brand. Digital marketing emphasizes soft skills and customer interaction, but must also develop hard skills like learning software and reviewing online analytics and key data. 
Much like traditional marketing positions, a college degree is a benefit, but not a pure necessity. It can be a demanding job since social media platforms are running 24 seven and have a global reach. Social media managers also have to stay aware of current trends and current events because the hourly news cycle most certainly influences what they post. Number 10, graphics designer, animation artist. Graphic design is the art of making visual content to communicate messages. Designers apply different page layout methods and visual hierarchy by using letters and pictures to meet the need of end users. Most companies use graphic design to sell their product or services and to convey complicated information by using infographics. In the same arena, you have the animation artists. The industry giants are Disney, Pixar, and Cartoon Network but you have smaller clients, companies, and many other studios, video game developers, and even advertising agencies who need to leverage the talents of an animation artist. Animation artists design and develop animated videos that can be just a few minutes long or can span an entire feature length film. It goes without saying that animation artists have to be good at drawing. They need to design memorable characters and know how to make those characters move. Becoming an animation artist isn't easy. Many earn bachelor's degrees in visual art and others spend years honing their craft, building rapport with clients and building up their portfolio of work. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.